So there we saw some of the benefits of swapping out the motor controller for the Grin Frankenrunner. It let us boost the top speed of the bike through field weakening, and it let us increase the continuous power of the motor to 1,000 watts rather than 500 watts, so we got better acceleration in hill climbing. 35, 38, 42, 800 watts. But one of the other big benefits of switching over to a platform with the Cycle Analyst is that it gives us any number of options for much more advanced pedal assist control based on torque sensors or even with cadence sensors with more features and capabilities. So in this case, we're gonna demonstrate the upgrade of this bike from its basic cadence sensor into a torque sensor. Now this isn't the typical bike you'd think of using a torque sensor on. It's really not meant for pedaling. It's got quite an awkward posture, a wide Q factor. Um, and normally on a torque assisted e-bike, that's a bike that you're pedaling all the time. Uh, but nonetheless, it'll serve as a good example for what this entails. Um, the other slight challenge is that this is a fat bike and fat bikes are notorious for having much wider components throughout. Uh, so in this case, the bottom bracket that the crank set goes through is 100 millimeters wide. Uh, luckily, there are torque sensors meant for 100 millimeter bottom brackets. So what I have here is a 100 millimeter Sempu fat bike torque sensor, and we'll now swap out the bottom bracket that's on here, add the torque sensor, and now demonstrate how we'll set this up as a torque controlled e-bike rather than just a throttle or basic pass e-bike. There we go. That was the release. Of that. So that went together almost too easily. Uh, so the 100 millimeter Sempu bottom bracket just fit perfectly. Um, so now we're just going to configure that it's actually working. I grabbed this from a random shelf we had floating around here at Grin. And if we go to the setup menu, uh, anytime you have a torque sensor, um, we will be able to see the signals. So see how it's sitting at one and a half volts there? If I put torque on the cranks, boom, voltage is increasing. Perfect, uh, so that means the voltage readout's fine. Now as we turn the pedals, you see the P and D arrows toggle up and down. So that means the cadence sensing is perfectly fine and we're set. So we just have to enable the device. So torque sensor type, this is a Sempu. There we have it. And that will automatically populate the rest of the details. Um, so the next thing we need to look into is how we configure the uh, the assistance level. So right now, by default, the cycle analyst isn't going to provide you any torque assistance or pedal assist behavior until you enable pedal assist mode. So here we're in no assist mode. Um, oops, you see that? So yeah. Here we're in no assist mode. And uh, we will change this to be torque assist. Um, and now we can choose the parameters. This is all covered in other videos, of course. Um, I'm just going to set what I find to be sensible values. Um, 
and we'll do a maximum. Uh, so this is a bike that is hard to pedal with much input, so I'm gonna go right up to four watts per human watt. Uh, so last thing we need to do is set up the Digiox input. So these are the up, down, assist level buttons. And right now, oh, it's already set. So this is set to go from zero to, uh, so it's set to have six different assist levels. Um, so that's gonna take us from zero to four watts per human watt. Um, it's nice to go maybe in 0.5 uh, assist uh, steps of 0.5 watts per human watt. So I'm just gonna change this to be, um, instead of six steps, if we make that nine, uh, that should take us from zero to four quite smoothly. And let's just get out of here. So now as I do the assist, that's zero, 0.51, one, one and a half, two. And then we can go right up to four times our power. Uh, great, so now uh, it just suffices to hop aboard and ride. Uh, at this point, since I'm gonna be pedaling, I should probably adjust the seat to be a bit more useful. Maybe there. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'll just crank that down a little. Um, but yeah, so now I get nice proportional assist. I pedal harder and the power of the motor increases. Whoosh!